was a small town, so everybody drank on weekends hard, and you know, I was able to hide the, the drug use pretty much all the time. And with me, everybody saw the, the good time. They didn't see the dark side. When people started realizing who I was, I'd move on. I'd just get the hell out of Dodge and find a new place to live. And that cycle continued till, uh, geez, I continued till I ended up here actually at 41. I just started seeing cocaine everywhere. The second I started doing it on a decent level, I could tell when someone was high. I could tell, you know, if it's on the bassinet of every single nightclub in every Vancouver nightclub. The stigma is that rehab is for the real down and outs, the real burnouts, the real people with real problems that they've, they've, they just don't have anywhere else to go. They are at rock bottom. And that's just not true. My conception of them was it would just be, you know, a bunch of, uh, heroin addicts, you know, that have been, that are homeless, that are, you know, dirty, um, uh, thieves or, you know, criminals. There's this broad brush stroke uh, that gets applied to everybody that struggles with an addiction. And it's usually the lowest, com the behavior of the lowest common denominator. Society considers them different. Uh, they're the other by virtue of having this diagnosis of addiction. Uh, if you got to know them, they would just be, you know, regular old folks, just like you and me. And so a very different uh, uh, person shows up at the door than what uh, anyone might expect from the stigma of the addiction. I had uh, lost everything, and then that's when I turned to heroin and fentanyl, and I started injecting it. And when I arrived here, I had no veins left anywhere. If you had to go away someplace for heart surgery or to, you know, something like, you know, to do with your body in some way, um, you'd have no problem telling people that. But it's really sad that I feel I have to sit here and kind of protect myself. And, and it's not that I'm ashamed of it, but it's the way other people are going to per perceive me. People don't realize that there is doctors that are struggling with addiction, construction workers, there are lawyers, there are teachers that struggle with addiction. I've had people look at me, tell me, oh, you don't look like an addict. And I'm like, well, what's an addict look like? <laughs> this is one right here, you know? It's fathers and brothers and, and sons who are just trying to become better at that again. That's what they're here for. They're here to just become good people again. Uh, those, those myths, that stigma is actually costing many, many people their lives unnecessarily. I've met so many amazing people that have helped me along the way through this place and they're addicts. You know, we're not bad people. We're, um, we're just broken people that, you know, we don't need to be punished. We've, we've been punished enough. We've punished ourselves enough. Um, we need support. We need to be built back up, not knocked back down. So that's the beautiful thing about this place is that you're treated like a human being.